Now some of my videos do end up getting a bit more technical, but let me tell you this isn't one of them. Making pixel art look and scale nicely, neatly and tidily in Godot is like one of the easiest things ever, and I'm honestly going to have a hell of a job stretching this into three minutes, but somebody commented that they wanted to see a video on this, so I guess I'm stuck at the mercy of the people. So to start with, I'd recommend determining the resolution that you want your game to run at. For most desktop games, I'd recommend that this is some nice even fraction of 1920x1080, so that could be 920x540, or in Warptex case, 480x270. Now all I've done to arrive at these numbers is divide 1920x1080, my screen resolution and a very common one at that, uh, dividing that by 2 and 4 respectively, so that each pixel will take up more space on the screen. So now that you've made the hardest decision, uh, all you have to do is go to Project Settings, Quality, Enable Pixel Snap uh, to make sure you don't get any weird artifacts when you're moving the sprites around. Then go back to Display, Window, Set Resizable to True. Now set the test width and test height to, uh, to 1920 and 1080 respectively just to make the game the appropriate resolution when it's scaled up. You don't have to do this honestly, if you just set Resizable and uh, Full Screen it should do that automatically for you. Uh, and for good measure, I usually do leave full screen enabled too. Lastly, all you have to do is go down to stretch in the same section and set the mode to viewport and set the aspect to keep. And that's it, you've now exactly recreated the same style of pixel art rendering that I use in Warp Tech. Now the advantage of doing it this way is that all things like particle effects, control nodes, etc. will all be pixel looking and you don't have to do anything about it. See? Super easy. I told you it wouldn't fill up three minutes with this. It's been, what, like two? Uh, okay, I don't, I don't know what to do now. Uh, what's, what's up with you guys? Uh, yeah, interesting stuff. I hope that all works out for you, what you just said right there, in that silence. Yeah. Leave a comment, I guess, and, or, or better yet, rewind the video and speak in that silence. And then it's like I'm consoling you, or it's like I'm uh, supporting you. I mean, I would support you if you left a comment, but I'm just saying, if you're too shy to leave a comment, you could just rewind the video and... Yeah, here, here we go, conversation simulator, okay. Uh, what, how, how are you doing, uh, you? And, and then you put your little response bit here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. I I hope you, I hope that that does well. I bet you can do it, cause cause you're 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 the best at what you do. Probably you're the best that I know. Of all the people I know, you're probably the best at what you do. I don't know many people. You're pretty you're pretty good. Yeah yeah yeah. So how about that weather? Pretty pretty crazy stuff, right? Okay, I just got over the three minute threshold, so I can quit doing that. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for really short videos that. I guess somebody in my comment section recommended, so I guess it's that person's fault that this video is so damn short and not mine. Uh, I'm joking, I love you. Goodbye.